Grain Island is found in the far north of the Great Barrier Reef, over 600 kilometres northeast of Cairns. It is the most significant and most protected island in Australia, as it is the largest nesting site in the world for green sea turtles. It's also the largest nesting site for seabirds on the Great Barrier Reef and is one of the largest aggregations of tiger sharks known. However, it was found that the island was failing to produce baby turtles and the main reason for this was because of climate change. And the reason for this was sea level rising through the sand and drowning the eggs before they had a chance to hatch. the whole undeveloped hatchling. So that is definitely a stage five. Yolk just bigger than the hatchling. In what was the most protected island on the Great Barrier Reef, it was decided to change the beach profile by taking large scale excavating equipment up on barges during the winter months to reshape the height of the sand. Seven metres of sand was taken from the edge of the beach and put on top. On the first year, a 100 by 150 metre zone was done. On the next year, this area was monitored. The thing about Rain Island is that the seabirds, the tiger sharks and even the turtles migrate from tens of thousands of kilometres. And so we were able to affect change on a tiny island that has a major impact now over a huge biogeographic range. This is a great example of assisted evolution, where scientists, traditional owners and managers can come together to affect change. This is the kind of thing we're going to have to do, not just on the Great Barrier Reef, but indeed all environments around the world so we can keep small areas protected to keep that biodiversity there. These can act as the seed banks for all the environments to recover.